Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes one and two of Black Bullet. Okay, so BTW, because uh, this is going to confuse a lot of people. So for one of my Patreons, they're going to get this, of course, early, and everybody else will get this the following, well, the other Patreons will get this the following week, and then I'm still trying to figure out what day this is all going to come out. So as of even right now, when this is posted on Saturday, hi, how you doing? Um... I don't know exactly what day um, I will officially get that, get this out. So probably either by the Friday that this comes out or that Saturday morning when this comes out. I think I should have a day of when this. But unfortunately, I don't know anything about this new series that we're starting. Um, I looked at pictures. Yeah. I didn't look at any trailers or anything to get spoiled, but... Um, of course, the person who requested this asked me if I had heard anything about it. I have not, unfortunately. So, I'm very intrigued to see what in the world this is going to be about. Something tells me this is going to be an etchy, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one. A boy. Okay. Obvi. <laughs> I should have got my socks because my feet are cold. <laughs> I'll get it after before I record episode two. It's supposed to be science fiction, right? Mm. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Uh, um. Oh. watching and we're only a couple of minutes into this oh and he's oh 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 my god save the kid though jesus christ he's main character oh god kid Why am I getting, like, Mothman, Godzilla, like, that thing looks, oh, oh, God. There is now a, <laughs> really? His name is Antonio? Come on now, we did that with freaking, oh, God. Really? Oh, my God, no. We would Okay, so the girl with the sword, she kind of looks familiar to me. Like, I've seen her before, but before the person who requested this requested this. That made no sense. I, I feel like I've seen her before. Maybe? When the hell did this come out? Well, I ain't gonna really know, because it's now what? It's 3.22, and I'm probably not gonna get my answers until about 9 a.m., since I am staying up all night, and after this, I got five more videos to make. <laughs> well, no. Five more shows to watch, a total of, that's six, seven, eight, ten videos. Okay, no, I can make the thumbnail on Friday as well. Hmm. You going to sleep? Uh, okay. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> My mom was just showing me her nails. <laughs> Love you too. Bye bye. <laughs> His voice is familiar. By yourself, though? Well, no, obviously we're back up, right? Oh, damn. Oh! Okay, so you didn't do that? Oh, you killed them. Oh, well, damn. Oh, well, damn, Rentaro, you getting your ass beat. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's Kohina. Is she the one, the black hair girl with the sword? Oh, damn. <laughs> um, no. Okay, so number one, it's already interesting to the fact is that we potentially just met the bad guy in the first episode, especially for Rentaro, because I wasn't expecting that, but oh, okay. But this mofo was like, I'm going to make a big old bloody mess, and you know what? I'm okay with that. Really? Hold on. How old is she? She looks like she's like 10. Oh shit, you okay? She gonna have to kill you.
like, okay, I, I'm kind of getting Fire Force vibes without it, you know, being firefighters, except now it's monsters. Um, and it's, instead of, you know, firefighters, it's the police. What the heck? See, this is why we should go ahead and start with those type of moves first and then go into like all the other shit. I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, and fiance. Yeah, but Andrew, like I said, are you, aren't you like 10? But you know, see, that's the normal, right? Hell, her voice even feels familiar to me. <laughs> right? Because she looks like a kid. <laughs> they cute, though. You can see that they bicker like a married couple, even though they're not together, but it's adorable. So literally, the world has to be saved by a civil officer, a.k.a. a police officer, and his 10-year-old wife? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> See, now we got another one who's familiar to me. Yeah, I know her voice. I know her voice, but I can't think of it. And she might ha also have to be best girl. <laughs> no way! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! It's, um, oh my god, oh my god, what is your name? What is your name? Monogatari! Monogatari! Monofucking Gatari! That is exactly who it is, um, it, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck was your name? Oh my god, um, I'm blanking, I am blanking. She's, she's best girl besides Sinjinohada for me. Hey, the the chick who played, what the hell was her name in freaking, not Gentle, but Gentle's assistant in my hero. And besides, I don't think your fiancé would like that.
Of course, because, I mean, probably for you, it's still fresh in your mind. Well, 10 years, I'm, well, like I just said, still fresh in your mind, even if it's 10 years. Mm. I don't like the way she... Seriously? Like I said, I don't like the way she is, like, literally petting the, the corpse because something kind of tells me... Oh, God. I, I hope she's not one of them type of people who do some freaky-ish to the corpse and... Woo! Don't do that! Well, I mean, it's obviously that you have a crush on her. But I feel like Andrew, she's... <laughs> so, but you probably like that in a woman, right? Ew, God, girl, what the fuck? Are you sure you want him to eat that? I wouldn't eat that. I'm sorry. Not if it was like the last thing on earth. Yeah. And they look like that. Like, God damn. So yeah, I, you can definitely see how it is very similar to Fire Force, but at the same time a little bit different. Almost like, basically you can compare and contrast between the two. <laughs> how no, do you, woman, do you see what that thing look like? When you really want to eat that, like I said, mm -mm. this is why you can't always go over everybody's house. Nothing but brain sprouts. Oh my god. Can you put it like some clothes on? No, I don't think he wants to do that. Just Why does she need a shot, though? So she won't turn into one of the gashos? Oh, well, damn. <laughs> like, am I guessing, like, Enjo has the antibodies, possibly? And they're... To oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> well, thank God Kisa doesn't really. <laughs> Live with them because if she had to, girl. See, no, no. I, he, I, I, he's more into mature girls and women. Hmm? Oh, she cute. She kind of looks like Anastasia from Cinderella Girls. Grandfather. Exactly. She has it, of course. Mm. So basically, yeah, she has antibodies and she she doesn't turn into one of them because, of course, she has the shots. That makes the most sense. That's a lot of responsibility on some little girls, though. Honestly, for our first episode, it wasn't really bad. I really enjoyed it for for what it was. It does leave a lot of unanswered questions, especially with the guy in the mask. Who, who the fuck does he look like? But of course, we have to wait until later on, right? Um, okay, two. So, like I said, yeah, you got three seiyus in here. Rentado and, um, Enju and Kisa's, uh, VA, who all predominantly, like, of course, with Kisa, that is obviously what's-her-face, best girl, the, my, you know, and really, she, mm, God, what? Because she was best girl. Because literally, of course she was best girl. Because, like, she was in, I did two intros with her for my own damn channel. Because I was like, no, I like this. It's so freaking cute. And best girl and stuff. Um, But the other two, especially for Andrew and Rentado, I cannot figure out who the voice actors are. And it's going to come to me at 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh, that's who it was. Or that's probably when I'm going to look it up. But, um... 
I'm glad that they really truly answered a lot of things that I was wondering while watching this episode, especially with, you know, Enju and her situation, plus all these little girls' situation, because that shot is to prevent them to become what everybody else is currently happening once they get bit by one of them things. So, yeah, you can see how it's very similar to both. It's almost like if Twin Star Exorcist and Fire Force had a baby together, and this is the end result and such but it's like I said it's the little girls who are mainly the saviors of it instead of because my thing was okay the world is going to be saved by this little girl and this guy this 23 year old boy man are going to save the world but now that it's really more on these little girls it it's really interesting but then at the same time it's scary because we already know because like I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and say this now if one of these chicks, these little girls, do not take that ish, they're automatically going to become one of those things, and they're going to have to kill them. So whoever is, like, like I'm guessing, okay, just like with Rent, um, Rentado, there are certain people assigned to these little ch <laughs> chicks, little, get, little kids, and they probably do have like a somewhat of a connection friendship relationship not like that but just a friendship or something established with one of them then they turn into them things and they have to kill them that's a little fucked up if that happens so something tells me something like that is going to go ahead and happen but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode two <laughs> i'm sorry Okay, episode two and three, two, one, go. So yeah, BTW, I went back and I lived the same as I know that I know who it is. <laughs> yeah, Kisa, that's best girl. That's Hanekawa from Monogatari. I knew, I was like, I can't remember her name. <laughs> No, that that little bit just right there, yeah, that sounded like Eden, like very, very tiny ish, but like, woo, woo, okay, okay. But still, like I said in the previous episode, having like what, what, t ten to twelve year old girls be very responsible for this, it, mm, I don't know about that. I mean, because, like I said, it is a lot of responsibility towards these girls. And, I, it, like, from that right there, none of them look afraid. But I think, you know, secretly, like, deep, deep, deep within themselves, they are truly afraid because you don't know if you might die during this. Like, this show gonna make me get attached to some little kids and I'm probably gonna cry. Do not kill a little kid on this show. I, I will not forgive this show if it happens. You already killed an adult the first episode. Hey, best girl. I know, rude. Holy shit! I mean, did you have to headbutt him like that, though?
she cute though? <laughs> As you can see, none of those little girls look so unafraid right now that like Oh, you're not gonna kill them if they declare. Let me guess, you two don't like him. You can't or you won't, though. Because, I mean, they have the right to know whatever the fuck is in there. Oh. Is that that guy with the mask? Mm-hmm. All right, hold up. Go, go ahead now. How the fuck you get up in here without anybody knowing, bro? Well, of course it's going to be you. Oh, hell no. I ain't dying for this. Mm. Dude, he got a force field around him. Y'all think I... <laughs> like, seriously... I'm kind of also getting like um, a regular at Magic High School vibes with this. <laughs> oh shit. You 
Excuse me. The head's in there. Oh, God. Oh my cute. It's just pretty here. <laughs> like everything is either a JoJo reference or a pretty cute reference for me. Wait! Yeah, but that doesn't mean you need to manhandle her like that. Come on, she's just a child. I didn't like that, that's not cool. Wait, don't do that! Seriously?
But at least you saved her, though. Talking pip squeak. <laughs> Are we Yuki? Cause it sounds like her. Oh shit, money. I mean, but yeah, you know, money talks. Of course. <clears throat> mm, of course. She could literally be anywhere right now. But see, that's not fair. They're the ones out here saving your ass at the end of the day. Oh God, this show gonna make me feel some type of way. This is like, this ish right here, this is social class. This is fucking hierarchy ish. And all these girls fucking live in poverty. They have to live underground.
Just babies. Oh my god. Like, seriously. I already cried over the one little girl in this show. It's like, God. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yep. Oh god, I'm gonna be crying a lot during this series. She. <sighs> Excuse me. No. But they're not just tools. They're children who have hopes and dreams. Like, seriously. Oh, God, the mentality that somebody... Oh, God. Oh. And, of course, it, it probably took her the longest time to trust him. Because she had been so hurt in the past. She's only doing it to protect them. This is only episode two, and this fucking hurts. Like, seriously. <laughs> the, like, y'all know my, like, number one, especially with anything with little kids in a show, whether it's something good happens to them or whether something bad happens to them. Oh, of course, I'm going to be, like, very, very, like, upset. You got me to cry over a child who I literally just freaking met in this episode for her to get shot several times, then die and come back to life. Cry over her. I wasn't expecting that. I was like, no, 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 no. But I wasn't expecting it for episode two. Episode three or four, yes. I, I, but especially with the fact is how the first episode started with a bloody mess of two officers dead. Um, so kind of told me we were going to see a little kid dying soon. But I am, like I said, I was expecting episode three, four, not episode two. But especially the things that Andrew Ken had gone had gone through, I can see why she doesn't want him around her because of certain things but yeah this is really effed up this is only episode two and i think this is a 13 12 episode series and it's so of course this is uh, once again because it's kids it's it's the feels so probably left right and center you are probably going to see me cry over this the next few weeks and such but like jesus i'm not ready for this I am not ready for this. And this is, just, this is just an early preview for, one, the person who requested this. So I cannot imagine, like, when the rest of the Patreons see this, and plus when everybody else sees this the week after. But really, for, like, the first two episodes, this is really good. I mean, honestly, never would have thought that we would have had a show where you had the freaking seiyus of Aaron Silica and Best Girl Hanekawa slash Cure Magical from freaking Pretty Cure. And it's like... 
<laughs> if you would have told me literally in 2014 that like, oh, hey, when you watch this season of Breaker, just know that this is the same BA, I probably would have looked at you like you were nuts. But like... You just never know who in the world can be casted in the world of, like, anything in general. But, honestly, deadass, this is a really good first two episodes. And I'm really intrigued and wondering how, like, really more of learning the the lore of this world. And seeing what else is going to be in store for these two characters. Plus, you know, best girl as well. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to tours episodes one and two of Black Bullet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday or the following Friday um, for Patreons. And then I think, hold on, let me get my other phone real quick. Um, okay, so today is the 28th for us. Um, this will come out on the 30th for the one Patreon who requested this. Then for the rest of the Patreons, this will come out the following Friday, which will be the 5th. Um, so I think, because this is replacing Pretty Care and Pretty Care comes out Monday. So... This will come out on the 8th so yeah you guys will see me officially the following monday for episode 8 and then the following friday for the next two episodes for patreons and then of course after that if this is the third as of right now there you go but until then i will see you guys all next time bye